I'm Elizabeth Stevens, Director of Community Outreach for the Missourian and a member of the Missouri School of Journalism faculty. On behalf of the Missourian, welcome to the 2020 Progress Awards. We are thrilled to have you join us to virtually celebrate those who move Columbia forward. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to thank our signature and community sponsors. The Central Bank of Boone County, True Falls Film Fest, Columbia College, the Missouri Symphony, Shelter Insurance, Veterans United, Central Missouri Auto Body, and Woodhaven. Without their support, this event would not have been possible. This year has been full of many challenges, but even still, our community has moved forward and created a vision for 2020. This event recognizes your voice as a community and those unsung heroes that don't always get the appreciation that they deserve. Every nominee tonight was put forward by one of you and our decisions about who should be recognized was based off of your words of support. This program was created to bring attention to people and organizations who help us all move forward as a community. It is not meant to be a popularity contest, but rather a recognition of effort and merit. We are obviously in a unique year and the nominees and winners you will hear about tonight stepped up, not back, in the face of difficult challenges associated with the pandemic and the consequences facing our community. As always, the selection process was not easy, which speaks to the incredible work being done by a lot of people all around us. All of the nominees are winners. We as a community are lucky to have each and every one of them. Here's how the presentation of our awards will work. I will first describe each award and recognize all of the nominees by name. I'm gonna say in advance that I apologize for any mispronunciations through the night. After recognizing the nominees, we will announce the winner and have them join us live, barring any technical difficulties, of course. In addition to celebrating tonight's nominees and winners, make sure to continuously check that chat for opportunities to win some exciting items. This year, we are excited to have nine items up for grabs throughout the event from various restaurants and businesses located in Columbia and around Mid Missouri. The chat will feature a picture and description of the item after an announcement from me. Just like the comment to be entered to win and all winners will be contacted uh, later this evening. Keep your eyes on the chat to make sure you get the chance to enter as many of the raffles as you would like. Good luck. Speaking of those raffle opportunities, here's our first one. Make sure to check out the comment section now for your chance to win a $25 gift card from Honey Baked Ham, a great prize for the upcoming holiday season. We'll be right back after a word from one of our signature sponsors. Some of my fondest childhood memories are from volunteering with my grandmother. Helping others was her passion. She'd always say, the sweetest fruits of life come from serving others. And she was right. At Shelter Insurance, we strive to make a positive impact in the communities where we work and live. For your auto, home, and life, find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. Welcome back. Let's get started. Our first award is Progress in the Arts. This award recognizes a community member who has made an impact by advancing the role of art and artist in Columbia. The arts can include music, theater, poetry, prose, paint, photography, sculpture, and any other creative form. The nominees for this award are Brandon Hall, Carly Love, Nolly Moore, Diana Moxon, Patty Kespel, Thomas Parker, Ashley Pribble, and Violet Vanderhaar. Congratulations to our nominees. 
The Progress in the Arts Award goes to Brandon Hall. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how's it going? We working? Yeah, you're good. Got me? Yep, I'm cool. going to read a little bit of what your nominator had to say, okay? Okay, cool. His love of music, education, and our community is the reason why we have been able to accomplish so much. I believe Brandon deserves this award because without him, the Columbia Jazz Orchestra wouldn't exist and jazz music would not be as prominent in Columbia. He has worked so hard over the last six years, building strong relationships, enriching and expanding local culture, and bringing this great American art form to the forefront in our community. Congratulations again, Brandon. Thanks. Those are very, very kind words. Uh, I, um, I'm very honored to, to uh, accept the 2020 uh, Columbia Missouri in Progress in Arts Award. Um, Thank you, first of all, to you guys for granting the award and for the platform to speak tonight. Um, to my assistant director, Jim Schaefer, uh, I imagine he's the one who nominated me for that <laughs> award. Um, <laughs> and so, of course, I thank him very much. I thank, I'd like to thank Walker Claridge and the crew down at Broadway Brewery for giving the Columbia Jazz Orchestra a home uh, the last Monday night of every month for the last five years prior to current uh, situation. Of course. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm the first line cook to ever accept this award, but I really hope I'm not the last because uh, I'm not the only line cook out there making art. I'm far from it, right? Um, and that's because the true nature of art, I feel like, is kaleidoscopic and ubiquitous because it's born from the universal trait of imagination in human beings. And through this, we tell our shared human story. Um, art is how we establish the collective knowledge that powers our intuition. So in short, art is for everyone. And that means you, whoever you are watching me right now. Progress in art can only really be made with more accessibility, not more over-professionalism. Um, and that's because art is the expression and elevation of the human experience. The more humans that are making art, the more things are possible and the more we can understand one another. Um, art is the manifestation of imagination. And right now we need to imagine something better. It's a time for new ideas and it's a time for new ideas to be coming from everyone, professional or not, whether, whether you spend most of your time on stages or at the bar, everyone has something to say, especially in a time like this, there's just so much uncertainty and disappointment. We need to hear each other's stories, right? Um, we need to remember to imagine. Yeah, that's so true. And I, and I think that you're a great example of, of the people that we try to honor with this award and, and that you're just, doing your thing but making making a difference in the arts community we really appreciate you brandon and congratulations again thank you and i appreciate all of you thanks yeah that's so true our next award uh, is progress in healthcare. this award recognizes a healthcare provider who has made an impact in columbia by delivering high quality and innovative care supporting public health through outreach and education and modeling responsible health practices and ethics. The nominees are Stephanie Browning, Ashton Day, Ashley Emmel, Jim Marshall, and Rebecca Roslett. Congratulations to all of our nominees. The winner of the Progress in Healthcare Award is Stephanie Browning. Dr. Browning, thank you for joining us. I want to read a little bit of the nomination to you. Stephanie lives the vision of the department, continually working toward an environment where the optimal health, safety, and well-being for all its members can be achieved. 
However, her leadership in a time of great uncertainty deserves recognition as she has gone above and beyond in supporting public health through modeling of responsible health practices and medical ethics. Congratulations again, Dr. Browning. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. It's not Dr. Browning, it's Director Browning. Director Browning, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, honestly, it is such an honor to be nominated for the Progress in Healthcare Award, um, let alone to win. Um, so to my fellow nominees, I say congratulations. You are making great contributions to our community every day. And to Rebecca Roslett and Ashton Day, I'm so proud to have you on our team. Congratulations to you. You know, 32 years ago, I started my career in public health and I truly loved it from the moment I walked through the door and into the office. And even now during a pandemic, the passion is still there. I love it just as much. It's hard, but I love it. Um, I, I think when I think about our community's success, regardless of how you define it, it starts with our residents being healthy. So um, this award is only possible because of so many others. So first of all, I want to recognize and thank my public health and human services family. They are a very talented team of people who are working tirelessly for the community they love. Um, also, I, you know, one of the things that's been really important to me is building relationships. And I don't know what I would have done this last year without the support of so many people, the city manager, my fellow department heads, the mayor, the city council, Boone County Commission, my partners in education, healthcare, and the business community. You know, these are difficult times and we're doing important work together to keep our community safe and healthy. It's really a tremendous honor. And so I thank you again. And I guess my parting words are, please take care of yourselves, wear your mask, wherever the mask is, wear your mask, stay healthy. And next year, let's all get together and celebrate the 2021 awardees. Thanks. That's right, yes. And that's why we're here uh, virtually yep. tonight, of course. And I promise I'm, there's only one other person with me in here, so. Um, yeah, but stay we're, safe, let's yes. get through the holidays. <laughs> Thank you for all of your work. Um, it's so important and we really appreciate the work you're doing. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Okay, uh, we have a raffle item. High quality ingredients, superfoods, and recipes that will help your bodies thrive. Wow, that sounds amazing. Check the comment section for a chance to win a $25 gift card from Nourish Cafe and Market. And now we have a word from one of our community sponsors. As the saying goes, history repeats itself, but in our day of modern medicine, who would have thought we'd be living through a health pandemic? There's also a saying that change is inevitable. As we approach the change of seasons, let us embrace the positive changes these strange times have brought. Respect for personal space, an appreciation for the great outdoors, and the best one yet, increased family time, building genuine relationships. Central Missouri Auto Body trusts these changes will bring about a better tomorrow. Central Missouri Auto Body. Welcome back. Our next award is Progress in Social Justice. This award recognizes a community member or program that has made an impact in advancing the values of equity, diversity, and inclusion in Columbia. The nominees are Vicki Boyd Kennedy of Faith Voices of Columbia, C.W. Dawson, Elizabeth Herrera Eichenberger, Sanad Music, David Tyson Smith, Marquis Smith, Anthony Stanton, and Andrea Weiner. Congratulations to our nominees. The Progress in Social Justice Award goes to Andrea Weiner. Good evening, Andrea. Thanks Hi. for joining us. Hi, thank you so much. I mean, my kid just yelled, yay, in the background. It was very exciting. <laughs> Um, uh, can I read a little bit from the nomination to you first? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it says, um, during her service on the Human Rights Commission and in her personal life, Andrea always promotes diversity, equity, and inclusion. 
Through her work and leadership, together with the work of the other commissioners, the City of Columbia has become a more inclusive community and provided additional protections from unlawful discrimination to our residents and visitors. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm really flattered and excited. Um, when I was thinking about the, this award, I was reminded that my mom was the first advocate that I ever met. Um, when my first grade teacher continually referred to the kids in her class as your son or he or him or uh, his, uh, in all of our classroom communications, my mom introduced me for the first time to the power of a letter writing campaign um, and how powerful that can be. Uh, and from then on, our class was full of children and students and your child. Um, so before I even knew what a social justice warrior could be or what social justice even was, uh, my mom was modeling the way for me. And I'm really grateful for that. Um, for me, this award is representative of all that's been done in our community to make Columbia a place where all can thrive. Um, and it's, we're an example um, that we can set for communities across the state. So I'm really proud of that. It's also representative of all the work that we still have to do. Um, so while we've made great strides in equity, diversity, and inclusion, there's so much that needs to be done to truly address systemic inequity in our community and across the globe. And I'm thankful to take part in that work. Um, I would like to thank my husband, Joe, and my son, Henry, uh, for their relentless positivity and support of all that I do. I'd like to thank my parents for showing me that girls can be strong and in charge. Um, and I'd like to thank some of those who I've had the opportunity to work alongside um, doing this work for the last decade. So Nikki Magruder, Verna LeBoy, Carrie Utterback, Sarah Maru, Stacy Smith, Jamie Kleinsorge, Howard Hutton, Sharon Jones, Dr. Deborah Howenstein, Dr. Josh Jacobs, and my mentor and hero, Stephanie Browning. So thank you all for giving me the opportunity to be able to do this work alongside you. Thanks so much for sharing. And I recognize several of those names from nominations and winners yeah. and finalists in, in past years. So I appreciate you, Andrea, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Next up is Progress in Sustainability. This award recognizes a community member who has made an impact on environmental sustainability through innovative practices, education, and continuous improvement. The nominees are Columbia Center for Urban Agriculture, uh, Mike Hemos, Steve Schnarr, and Mike Sadowski. Congratulations to our nominees. The winner of the Progress and Sustainability Award is Steve Schnarr. Welcome, Steve. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. I'm gonna share what our nominator had to say. Steve Schnarr's love for the river developed from years of exploring its waters by canoe. Steve is a selfless, caring, and giving individual. He is the heart and soul of this commu small community-based organization. Steve is a very down-to-earth person that cares for the environment and the community where he lives and is always giving back to that same community. Steve is one of those unsung heroes of the river community. He is always striving to make a difference in our world and he does just that. Congratulations again, Steve. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's uh, a humbling honor to receive this award. And I'm really receiving this on behalf of the work that Missouri River Relief volunteers have done um, over many years, almost 20 years, um, that our organization has been working to connect people to the Missouri River and really craft direct experiences with the river um, that runs right through the heart of our state um, it's uh, really the, the most um, amazing natural resource that we have right here. And I should mention, you know, as we go through this um, difficult and challenging winter, um, the river is a place that welcomes everybody um, and it has healing power and it has lessons to teach. So. Um, whether you're one person or a family or a small group of friends, um, you know, the river welcomes you and there's just a few places in our county where we can get down to it. Um, 
and engage with it. Um, so that's just a reminder, but I do want to, you know, give great gratitude um, to all the volunteers and the amazing staff of River Relief who has just not stopped during this very difficult year um, and found really unique ways to connect with people in their homes and also down at the river. Um, it's been really beautiful to be a part of it and I'm grateful, um, you know, to play a small, small role in that. Um, the other folks that were nominated for this award are also my heroes and they're all doing really important work in 2020 and have been doing important work and um, are leading us, you know, into the future, which, which is all about possibilities for all of us. Um, and it's all about connection um, and, you know, finding ways to work together to bring things um, into the future. Um, Mike Haimos with the city of Columbia, um, Stormwater, um, my hero and my neighbor, Mike Sidlowski with uh, Columbia Public Schools Science, who um, the things that he's touched and, and brought forth for our kids, right? You know, just this year and, and in so many years are really amazing. And Columbia Center for Urban Agriculture, which is just working their butt off, um, uh, making food for people and people need food right now. So yeah. thanks to all of you for, for what you do. Thanks so much, Steve. I appreciate you. Okay, this raffle is for anyone with a sweet tooth. The Candy Factor has kindly provided a basket worth of $100 of their decadent chocolate treats. Make sure you go check that chat for an opportunity to win. And now we have another word from one of our signature sponsors. When was the last time you looked at Central Bank? We mean really looked at what's possible when you combine leading edge technology with a bank who can make important decisions locally and who can help you turn what's possible into what's real. Take a new look at the world of possibilities with Central Bank. Strong roots, endless possibilities. Welcome back. Our next award is Progress in Education. This award recognizes an individual educator, administrator, or support staff member or program at an educational institution that has made an impact on his, her, or their school or community at large through innovative approaches to teaching, programs, community outreach, or mentorship. The nominees are Atia Allison, Tony Grignani, Donovan James, Jim Marshall, Thomas Parker, Ashley Pribble, Peter Steepleman, Mike Sadowski, Janice Dawson, Dawson Threat, Violet Vanderhaar, and Tina Woods. Congratulations to all the nominees. The winner of the Progress in Education Award is Janice Dawson Threat. Janice, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, we actually heard from a grandparent whose grandchildren were part of your program. So I'd like to share what they wrote. Mm -hmm. With the challenges COVID has brought to all of our lives, Grade A Plus has gone above and beyond to provide a virtual program to help keep the kids engaged in learning. Dr. Dawson Threat has put her heart and soul into this program and teamed up with a great staff to help make all kids but particularly those who don't have the same opportunities as some, be successful and confident. She is not only a valuable educational support in Columbia, but just an all around special human being because of her love and kindness for all. It is an honor having you here tonight. Thank you. Um, I would like to thank the Columbia Missourian for providing this opportunity for recognition or small grassroots neighborhood-based program. I also want to thank and praise God for giving me a vision 20 years ago when I thought my ideas about education were of no value and interest to anyone. But I pressed on to start a program for academic support and enrichment in the community. 
because children belong not just to their families, but to their community as well. And so we have a responsibility to support and ensure their success. This award encourages me to press forward to continue the development of this program into a learning center that can assure more of our children succeed in and out of school. I wanna thank our many volunteers, our staff, my family who puts up with my long hours and all who have given so many hours to this program. I wanna thank Second Baptist Church, which has given this program a place to operate since 2007 and to all who have helped this program to be a place that children love to attend and engage in. This program is a gateway to the future for the children who participate in it. And if we could increase our funding, our sponsorships and our collaborators, we could do even more to make a difference in undergirding their success academically and artistically and socially in and out of school. So thank you for bringing us into this moment, into this spotlight. I humbly say with all my heart, thank you so much. Thank you. I know this is a challenging time in education. Um, and I hope that our viewers will, will check the Missourian tomorrow to read more about all of our winners um, and the programs that they're working with and, and what they have to share there as well. So thank you again for joining us, um, Dr. Dawson Threat. How do I make me the sweet potato? Do you need a little weekend pick-me-up? Brew Brothers of Isle of Capri and Boonville has you covered. Check out the comments to win a $50 gift card. Uh, now we will go on to progress and entrepreneurship. This award recognizes a business owner or business owners who have successfully launched a startup or small business based in Columbia for at least a year. The recipient ought to reflect a commitment to their communities and support fellow entrepreneurs. The nominees are Adonica Coleman, Ashley Emmel, Chase Reeves, Schoner Family Construction, Willie Schlax, and Demetrius Woods. Congratulations to all our nominees. The Progress and Entrepreneurship Award goes to Demetrius Woods. Demetrius, it's great to have you here with us. Great to be with you. <laughs> your work is very valued, and I want you to hear what your nominator said. Mr. Woods continues to serve as a mentor and role model for youth in the community and be accessible to others in the community that may need some hope in a community that may only see them as disposable and not worth investing in. Mr. Demetrius Woods is a model of social entrepreneurship that serves as a beacon of hope, not only in the African American community, but for anyone that is looking to remain focused and poised while potentially debilitating circumstances surround them. Congratulations again, Demetrius. Thank you, thank you. It's, um, it's an unreal moment for me, man. That, that was an excellent statement. If I could um, take a statement and paint for me, it would be that statement um, from the nominator for this award. Um, and that, that's exactly what I represent. So th those are the people that I give credit to or the people that come from a community that are hopeless. Um, that, that's my foundation. Um, but more on a personal level, um, I want to give Nate Stevens a big thank you. I believe he was very instrumental to this. I want to give the um, community in Columbia, Mid-Missouri in general, man, they've supported me in so many ways you can't believe, um, especially now financially with my business, with how, how hard times are the support i mean even even if it's just a dollar it goes so far even if it's, it just goes to confidence for for guys and people women like myself being an entrepreneur going into small business is so hard and it's so easy to be derailed coming from the environment that i come from going the hard way is hard but um, I take it on every day and I'm thankful that it's recognized. I just thank everybody who believe in me, everybody who didn't give up on me during my quest to even be free right now. So my story is very large. 
Um, I thank my mother more than anybody for giving me birth, for never giving up on me. And um, just anybody who's never had a chance, anybody who think that it's time to give up, those are the people that I thank that just keep going because that's where I get strength from. And I thank the Missourian for giving me this platform and giving me confidence to keep helping people. And um, I, and the confidence is what I need because I never was, I never knew I would be this guy. I never, I, 10, 15, 20 years ago, I never would have wrote that I would inspire people. So thanks for the opportunity. Well, thank you. And we wish you the best success going forward as well. Uh, this next raffle item is for folks who love local flavors and ingredients. Park Restaurant and Bar has kindly provided a $25 gift card and gift basket for one lucky winner. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back everyone. We have another great raffle opportunity coming to you in the comments. Murray's Restaurant has donated a $25 gift card, so make sure you go like that comment for your chance to win. Now we'll go on to our next award, Progress in Civic Engagement. This award recognizes an individual who holds an elected, appointed, or staff position in government who demonstrates a commitment to being engaged with citizens and upholds the ideals of open, fair, and tr transparent local government. The nominees are Sarah Hum, Brianna Lennon, Keith McIver, Clyde Ruffin, Austin Stidham, Jalen Wright, and Andrea Weiner. Congratulations to our nominees. Our Progress in Civic Engagement Award goes to Keith McIver. <laughs> Hi, Keith. You're, Hello, how are you? you? You've got the trophy to show, too. Um, your work has been so important to the community during the pandemic. I want to share what the nominator had to say about you. Keith has been instrumental in assisting as a volunteer facilitator in the city's virtual community engagement efforts to help us identify community priorities and get people in need connected to our services. Keith has an ever positive and informed perspective about him that always ensures we are engaging in conversations for the right reasons, but also not shying away from leaning into challenges and the difficult conversations. A democracy is only as strong as the people it serves, and Keith's commitment to civic engagement helps preserve and further the strength of our local democracy. Thank you, Keith. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Huge shout out to the Columbia Missourian and the Selection Committee for this great honor and for, and for providing a platform to connect with people in this community that want to see the city of Columbia grow and thrive. I'm proud to be a citizen and resident of the city, and I firmly believe in the democratic ideals of participation, access, equality, and service. To be recognized by Randy Cole and his team at the city's housing program energizes my commitment to that mission. I enjoy building intentional relationships. I think having direction or creating strategy for, for community engagement is what motivated me to become involved with the awareness around the distribution of the CARES Act Relief Funding. The city wanted to ensure that the community, particularly women and minority owned businesses, knew about the process and I was on board. I'm proud to serve as member of the Columbia College staff as director of alumni development and serve in a leadership role in the college's diversity equity and inclusion committee. We are constantly working to make sure that our campus is a welcoming atmosphere. The, the support I received to be an active part of this larger community was also something that was very passionate to me. I'm also a proud member of the Columbia Chamber Ambassadors and president of the Minority Men's Network. Again, I'm grateful for this award 
and congratulations to the other honorees. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. All right, now how about them Tigers? Check the chat to have the opportunity to see Missouri play Vanderbilt with three of your closest friends or family. I know I wouldn't want to miss this. As a reminder to keep checking that comment section for your chance to win those amazing raffle prizes. You just have to like the comment and you're, you'll be entered to win. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back everyone. Next up is Progress and Community Nonprofits. This award recognizes a nonprofit organization that demonstrates progress in meeting needs in Columbia and Boone County through advocacy or long-term strategies, investment of resources, community dialogue, and partnership. The nominees are the Assistance League, the Boys and Girls Club, Burrell Behavioral Health, Catholic Charities of Central and Northern Missouri Refugee and Immigration Services, Columbia Center for Urban Agriculture, Columbia Housing Authority, Columbia Foster and Adoption Project, Cody's Gift, Columbia Farmers Market, Faith Voices of Columbia, Love Inc., Missouri River Relief, Tiger Pantry, and True North. Congratulations to all our nominees. Our Progress and Community Nonprofits Award goes to True North. Elizabeth Herrera Eichenberger is the Executive Director of True North. Thank you for joining us, Elizabeth. Oh, it's my honor to be here. And you know, listening to the list of all of the nominees, I mean, they we have a partnership with all of them and they are just doing incredible work and just to be recognized out of all of them, I'm sure it was very difficult. It was. I'm gonna to read to you from the nomination so you know how we, we selected you. Um, True North, its executive director, Elizabeth, and its employees are continuously progressing the shelter into a place that is safe and feels like home for victims of assault. True North is a fierce and powerful nonprofit organization. They are constantly working to help make our community a better and safer environment for all. Thank you for the work that you do, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the recognition. You know, I have been afforded the blessing to work with the most amazing human beings on this earth. I mean, at True North is not uncommon to hear, you know, one more call or wait, wait, one more session or, one more email, I'm gonna leave soon, I promise. Um, that is the type of people that I have on the team. And so day in and day out, um, I get to see the absolute best of what people um, can be for each other. And that means so much, um, what people can overcome and the absolute and unequivocal, unequivocal transformative power of kindness, compassion, and love for your fellow human being. So, I mean, I am eternally grateful. You know, I get to live my purpose every single day. Um, our staff is just remarkable and they inspire me every day. Our volunteers and of course, you know, our board of directors uh, is just, um, it's just so purposeful and so wonderful. I also want to acknowledge the people that were nominated today, um, the people that have received this award, the people that um, were awarded. You know, I get to share this space with you all and it's just inspiring. Your souls are just so beautiful, so full of commitment and um, unity and togetherness and all of the wonderful things that make us, um, you know, make us better you know, as a community. So I am, um, again, filled with gratitude and um, I wanna thank just, just everyone that had something to do with making it possible. Thank you. 
And next up, we have the Progress in Corporate Citizenship Award. This award recognizes a firm with a presence in Columbia that demonstrates a commitment to community service and involvement by supporting efforts in education, the arts, sustainability, social justice, or entrepreneurship. The Progress in Corporate Citizenship Award this year goes to TIG Advisors. Chief Operating Officer Carrie Roberts joins us tonight. Thanks for being here, Carrie. Thanks um, for having us. I want to share a little bit about what TIG Advisors has done recently in the community. TIG employees have helped build a playground at Coyote Hill Children's Home. They did a Halloween costume contest and donated all proceeds to Granny's house. They ran a bake sale to raise money for a client who has cancer and needed financial support. There are biannual blood drives on site at TIG as well. Congratulations to TIG advisors and you, Carrie. Well, thank you. On behalf of the owners and employees of TIG, we thank you for naming us in the category of corporate citizenship. At TIG, we have three company values, one being we care deeply. Accepting this award is so meaningful to our team because this shows we not only say we care about our employees, our clients, and our community, but we also show it and we put in the work and it feels really good to be recognized. A big thank you goes out to our clients. Without you believing in our team and trusting us to protect you and your assets, we wouldn't have the opportunity to give, serve, and be so involved with our community. I would also like to thank our employee population for being committed to serving and giving so generously of your time, treasures, and talents. You all are the best. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. All right, it's no secret that 2020 has been a tough one. Um, Macadoodles has kindly put together a basket that includes an assortment of beer, wine, and glasses valued at $100. Check out the comments for a chance to win. And now a, wor a word from our final community sponsor. 2020 encouraged every entity to be reflective, appreciative, and innovative in the way they grow and work to survive. Because of this reflection, we're changing and honoring our members by compiling the totality of their impact to the Missouri Symphony under one new donorship system. Our commitment to enrichment and education for musicians and to engage our community that loves the fine arts remains steadfast and timeless, just like music. Come mosey with us at the Missouri Symphony on Facebook and online at MLSY.org. Welcome back. Now for our final raffle item. You aren't going to want to miss this. You can win two Lux passes for Columbia's renowned True False Film Fest. Um, you'll get the full True False experience, whatever that looks like in 2021, um, but with additional events and parties during the four-day lineup. Finally tonight, we come to the Sherman Brown Jr. Award. And to help me present this award is Devion Moore to share with us more about the award's namesake. Devion? You all doing? My <laughs> wife is here with me as well. Um, I first wanna just say thank you all for giving us the opportunity to continue to speak on behalf of our, our dad. Um, we feel deeply honored that this continues to go on and on and we get to see uh, how his legacy goes on in our community at, at large. Um, it's been really hard when you think about the current circumstances in which we're, we're living and what it has done, not only to the community, but what it has done to our family in, in general. And one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we could speak on behalf of today is, is how our father goes about loving. And so love has been sort of a theme of a lot of the conversations that we've heard today. And, and the reason I wanna speak to love is because uh, the nominees that have been selected all have loving hearts towards the people and the individuals in this community. So when we think about that, one of the things that we wanted to talk about was, how can I love what I don't understand? 
And so that's what we're going to talk to you really quickly about. My father-in-law, he would just tell you, I'm a lover of all, baby. That's what he would say. I'm a lover of all. Um, and for anybody who knew him, uh, he really meant it. He had a raw love for the individuals that he came in contact with. Um, so what do I mean when I say a raw love? Um, in all seriousness, when we think about love, what is it? So we, when we reflect, love is reflected energy. And the energy has a feeling. The feeling is as tangible as any solid thing because love has mass, has volume, and has validity. The thing that we get the opportunity to see is the embodiment of that spirit amongst the individuals who have been nominated for this, this award. And so what we want to do um, as a family is to thank all of the recipients of this reward, award um, for allowing those in this community to feel that love that you all are giving off. And we encourage you and we encourage anyone that is tuning in today um, to continue the love that our father gave to this community and to the individuals within this community, regardless of their circumstances. Because remember, how can I love what I do not understand? It's a reflection of who you are. You just love and that's what you do. And so for the nominees tonight, we thank you all for showing us that love and sharing that love with our community at large. Um, our family thanks you. Um, and we look forward to, to continuing to see this love spread throughout our community. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Devion, and to the Brown family. We really are grateful to have you guys as part of this. Um, I want to share the description of the Sherman Brown Jr. Award. This award recognizes a community member who, like its namesake, serves his or her neighbors, patrons, or customers with the highest esteem and commitment to treating each and every person like gold. The nominees are Erica Buford, James Gray, Darren Morton, John Pham, Barry Stoll, and Lori Stoll. Congratulations to our nominees. The winner of the Sherman Brown Jr. Award is Lori Stoll. Lori, I'm so glad you could join us tonight. Thank you, I am beyond honored and, and uh, it's a real privilege. I'm gonna read to you from the nomination letter. Lori Stoll embodies a servant heart. She helped found City of Refuge, a nonprofit that helps refugees regain stability in their life. She has devoted much of her life professionally and personally to serving those who have experienced true hardships and trauma. I have seen firsthand that Lori goes above and beyond to care for her neighbors. So that was the, the nomination we received, Lori. Um, thank you again for joining us. Thank you so much. And most of all, thank you to the Brown family and that incredible tribute to their father that we just listened to. Um, it's very inspiring. <laughs> um, I just can't believe that I'm here tonight receiving that. I, I know that um, I, I did know your father personally, um, saw him in the community and was affected by his love and his generosity and friendship. Um, he actually personally visited my father on his deathbed and knew him through um, uh, the businesses that, that they had together. Um, just uh, he took the time and effort to, to come to him and say how sorry he was and that impacted our family greatly. So to be here tonight, I am his age when he passed away, and it's just an amazing honor to be included in these recipients. Um, I, uh, I love the whole phrase, to treat others like gold. It's something that I've tried to aspire to in my life, to really embrace people where they're at, to look at them and to see the value that they give to us and to call out that that deep treasure that's in each one of us and with the refugee and the immigrants in our community they're often not seen or heard and it's been a delight and an honor a privilege to work at city of refuge with my husband by the way um, we share an office together and we get to um, celebrate their lives here in our community every day um, so 
I, uh, I do want to thank City of Refuge, the staff, the board there for giving us that uh, home base to love on people and, and to welcome them in our community and to uh, enrich them so that they can be a part of our community in a real um, positive way. Um, I wanna thank my husband, most of all, for being my partner through life and encouraging me uh, in this journey. He's been an example to me in so many ways of how to love and honor people. Um, and I wanna thank the Missourian for having this incredible award and honoring your father through this. Um, and uh, most of all, I wanna thank God because he's the one that's given me this love deep in my heart. And uh, he's allowed me to have this life um, to, to share and to celebrate uh, those that aren't seen as, as well as, as many of us in our community. So again, I thank you. I thank you so much for this honor. It's way above and beyond what, what I deserve, <laughs> but I do humbly thank you. Thank you, Lori. It's been such a pleasure to see all of you. I can't believe we did this, um, that everyone made it on Zoom and we've been able to hear from you all live. That's, uh, I feel like some sort of miracle, um, but I just wanna, uh, Thank all of you, and it was an honor to celebrate you. Um, on behalf of the Missourian, I want to thank the nominators and all of the nominees for the, their participation in this process. Um, now more than ever, it's important to recognize those who actively work to make the community of Columbia a special place. So if you have entered into the raffle um, by liking those comments um, on our Facebook Live tonight, then um, we'll draw the winners and be contacting you uh, via Facebook. So keep an eye out on your direct messages there. Um, thank you again to all of our winners who participated with us tonight. Um, we appreciate you and just wanna issue a congratulations. And thanks to all of you who tuned in and participated with us on Facebook. Um, have a great night, thanks.